Hey everybody, this is Steve, and I don't know if you've heard the news, but the Assembly of Bishops have just created two new pan-Orthodox ministry agencies. I'm sorry, I'm putting this video together really quickly, I'm actually on my way to a meeting, but I feel like this is such big news that I want to make sure that you know about it, and I kind of feel like we need to talk about it. Like, this is huge. The Assembly created two new agencies. The first one is called the Orthodox Volunteer Corps. It's a service agency. It's much closer to completion. They're having a kickoff event on November 9th. I'm going to share the uh, URL, uh, the website, to the agency down in the doobly-doo. Please check that out. Sign up for the kickoff event. See if you'd be interested in helping and participating. But there's also this new Pan-Orthodox Youth and Young Adult Ministry Agency, which is like such huge news, amazing news. Um, I feel like it's something that I've been praying for and hoping for for a long time, but I'm not going to get ahead of myself. This isn't about my reaction to this. What I really want to share is what the bishops said at the assembly meetings. They sat down with my friend Bill Marianis. He did a lot of interviews with a bunch of the bishops, and I think it's so inspiring to hear from them, their hopes for this pan-Orthodox youth and young adult ministry agency, their hopes for a united voice for youth formation, for the formation of young people, for creating new generations of faithful Orthodox Christians. Um, a way to avoid duplicating efforts, a way to avoid working together. Some of those jurisdictional silos that keep us apart. I mean, we tried serving the entire pan-Orthodox community as long as we've had Y2AM. Like, this is such... Again, doesn't matter what I think, this is really about the bishops, so I want to share with you what they think. But I'd also like to hear from you. I mean, as you hear from them, from the bishops who have now blessed this agency, what are your hopes for a youth and young adult ministry agency? here in the United States? What are your, your hopes for a common vision, a common purpose, a common resourcing, a common united voice for the formation of the next generation of faithful Orthodox Christians? I'd love to hear from you. Feel free to leave, leave a comment after you watch this video. Hear from the bishops, though, because I think this is so inspiring. I mean, it's, it's transformative for not just the present of the church, but the future of the church. Let's see how the next decades go as this united voice really begins to lead formation of young people in the church. Again, not about me. I'm a little bit excited about this, though, so I'm going to turn it over to the bishops. And then again, in the comments, I would love to hear what you have to say. Like I said, sorry for this kind of like, kind of like random video over here, but I just wanted to get this out. So take care, God bless, and I'll be back with my reactions at some point. We are approving today the creation of a new agency for youth and young adults. This official agency of the Assembly will support and unify our efforts around young people and young adults so that we inspire an Orthodox Christian mindset or a phronema across all our communities. Also, an additional benefit of this new agency will be putting an end to the duplication of efforts that consume our resources and the time of our dedicated youth ministers. Also earlier this morning, we brought into being a group which will work as the agency for youth and young adults in our church. We have the one group which will oversee all of the youth activities and we hope to merge many of, of our to date existent activities into this new group and then to work in tandem with that which is going to be the applicable, the practical side of everything. So it is very exciting for me. The youth, you know, like now, they don't need to he listen to me or listen to, you know, like all the school minded people. So they, they, they are on their own. They are on their own. They are, uh, they, they, they have their phone, they have iPad, they have, you know, like other uh, tools. So that's why, you know, like they, they have to explore themselves, you know, like what they what they looking for, what they believe, what they and yesterday, you know, like the panel went excellent with the, with the young people. We heard many beautiful ideas. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, I am the one with all humility. I, I am the one who who, who uh, proposed that to the assembly of bishops and it was adopted like 100%. Unanimous, yeah. And yeah, unanimous. And, and they want the church to be sensitive to their, the temptation of depression and, and, the, and the problem of mental illness and to devote resources to that, you know, human resources so that, you know, we connect on that. Uh, again, like I said before, it's, it's them telling us where they hurt. Right. You know, it's 
telling us where they want ministry. You know, the tools or skills, uh, ways to, to, to communicate the goodness of orthodoxy to their world, mm -hmm. you know. Um, not just what we believe, but right. why we believe and why it's true and healthy and good. And relevant to them in today's culture and society. Right, and right, other right. Issues, right. I mean, it, 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 they wanted more than just a kind of a, I have a question, give us the answer. You know, right. they wanted, uh, you know. They wanted to engage. They wanted, they wanted something more than that. They wanted something more than that. The youth, of course, as we've said, um, to have an actual organization that will help coordinate and, and simplify perhaps the, and, and unify the, the, the work that we do with the youth throughout all our jurisdictions, you know, a, a concrete way to un, unite us, right. even as we're you know, still struggling to find that unity on the administrative level, um, we, we still can look to these concrete um, endeavors that, that show our, our real unity in the, the, the things that, that matter. But we need this unity. We need this uh, common witness in America. Our youth needs that, needs this unity. And uh, we have to offer them uh, this, uh, this perspective, this vision for the future. Uh, you know that we dedicated this year, 2021, to the youth. But this dedication, will, this commitment to the youth will not end by the end of this year. And this is why we created the new youth agency, which addresses all youth, Orthodox youth in the United States, no matter which jurisdiction or cultural background they are. Right. Mm -hmm.